Hey there, Nikki Tragos here of Life by Design. Let's paint some basic geometric shapes and see what happens. Okay, let's just get to it. I'm envisioning just a sweet little pot of geometric flowers. So what I'm going to do is outline just a really simple pot shape. So think of it as being um, a triangle with a flat base. And then what we're going to do is just with the side of the brush, so I'm not using the tip, my hand is at, uh, or my brush is at maybe about a 45 degree angle. So I'm using the side of the brush here just to create a really simple base for my flower pot. So I'm just going back and forth with drawing in some water. And while it's still wet, I can create a bit of a shadow. So don't worry about your shapes being too perfect. I can even draw down the water and just building up the water color. So always working with the puddle, bringing it down. And I don't mind that it's not connected. I want it to be just really sort of loose and rustic feeling. And then I'm just using colors that I have here on my palette. I want maybe a lighter, oh, this is a nice color. Just a lighter color to go um, and to paint just some circles. So I'm gonna paint some circles for flowers. Okay, we'll start with one up here. It's gonna be really graphic, geometric, um, simple. Maybe I'll do a bigger one here. And I don't want them to overlap, so I'm just really loosely painting a circle and just filling in that circle with some watercolor. Maybe we'll make a taller one that's even bigger here, because as a plant grows, some leaves um, are larger than the others, and I can see that my brush is dry. That's okay. I'll just dip it in a bit of water, wiping off the excess, just wetting that paint, I'm able to spread that watercolor around. So I think this is a buff titanium that I have mixed in with a bit of mauve. And um, even I think I had some brown umber, burnt umber. Okay, and then maybe one more just off to the side here. I don't want them to be in line so that they look more interesting. And there's one, two, three, four. So um, designing anything, whether it is um, a watercolor painting, you know, stylizing something in your home, it's always best to work in odd numbers. Okay, so look at that coming to life already. This is starting to dry really nicely in color for a stem. So what I'll do is just draw really lightly, and I don't mind if it touches and bleeds. I prefer not to at this point because I want it to be a little bit more graphic looking, but I can just pull in some stems. Again, I don't want this to be realistic, obviously. It's just a really fun and bold not bold, but minimalistic, modern, easy, easy watercolor piece we can do. So you can add some interest to your vase. So just in nice cross strokes here. So now my base is quite dry. So this is wet on dry. And you should really make sure that it's completely dry. I'll tuck a few little ones in there, wipe off the excess. So it doesn't drip. Maybe I'll tuck another one here. But I just want you to have um, inspiration to paint things very simply. And this could even turn into um, a greeting card or a note. So I'm not even going to draw it out. I'm just going to letter thinking. So this is a smaller brush. This is a two over zero. Thinking. All caps. Thinking. 
thinking of you. How sweet is that? And then what I may even do, I'm gonna turn this around because I don't want to put my hands in the wet paint with that same color. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw in some straight lines. So again, what did we paint today? We used um, circles, straight lines, and the base of this flower pot is really a triangle with a flat bottom. So not difficult. Maybe I'll give myself a center to pull from. So I'm just very lightly, my brush is more at a 90 to 75 degree angle to the paper. And I'm just, I even like that on its own. Maybe we'll even do a few spots here just to see what that looks like. Just to have one off. Actually, I really like that, that's cute. So look at how sweet that turned out. Intimidating, difficult, and you can paint things that are a little bit more um, maybe traditional, but that's still kind of loose, um, or have something that is a little bit more minimalistic and fun, okay? I hope you enjoyed this. I wanna see what you're painting. Please tag me, share with me. I am inspired by you. Enjoy that. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Just using very simple geometric shapes can bring something as simple as a plant to life as you're practicing your watercolor painting and starting to grow your skills and confidence. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe. And if at any time you have a video suggestion, I'd love to hear it because I want your ideas and I want to teach you what I know and help you along with your watercolor painting. Just to remind you, my watercolor class is opening at um, on July 14th. I have some amazing bonuses that I've put together. We have so many painting projects to work on together, um, so many different ideas for you to grow, practice, learn, and really enjoy the experience of watercolor painting.